there again and welcome to the One Way UK review of daily devotionals, this time covering the week 3rd to the 7th of October and then looking forward to the week 10th to the 14th of October. And during this time we'll be covering John chapter 10 verses 14 to 42. So without further delay, let's start with uh, last Monday. I am the good shepherd, said Jesus, and I know my sheep, and I'm known by my own. As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. You know, what we believe about ourselves will shape our lives and destiny. And we've got a choice to make. Either we believe the voices we hear around us in the world, some of which can be very negative and drag us down, or we believe what the Bible says about us, that we are new creatures in Christ, that is, if we believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Saviour, and can do all things through him. A really encouraging start to the week. And on Tuesday, we saw Jesus practising what it is to live by faith. Uh, he spoke, uh, in a sense, um, prophetically I suppose because he said my father loves me because I laid down my life that I may take it again. Now both the events he was referring to his death and his resurrection were of course in the future but he was showing us how to live life because to Jesus words of faith uh, you know words spoken in faith were as concrete as words spoken from experience. That's why faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And that's what he lived by. He not only, as it were, spoke of his own death, foretold that, but also spoke of his resurrection. However, neither of those events had taken place when he said that he was speaking words of faith. People said of Jesus, he has a demon and is mad. Why do you listen to him? We saw that on Wednesday. Others said, these are not the words of one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? I guess crunch time comes for you and me when Jesus, or the Bible, bearing in mind that Jesus is the word made flesh, says or teaches something that challenges us. Challenges us. What do we do then? Be like the people who just brush it all aside and don't pay any attention. Oh, he's got a demon and he's mad. Why do you listen to him? Or are we like the ones who said, well, wait a moment, we're going to consider what Jesus has done. We're going to consider what he said. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind, etc.? Do we listen and learn or stick our fingers in our ears like a child and say, can't hear, can't hear? Thursday. People said to Jesus, if you are the Christ, tell us plainly. And Jesus answered them, I told you and you do not believe. Faith takes what we hear and see, believes it and encourages us to organise our lives so that we express what we believe in and through our actions. That's why in Hebrews 10.38 it says, a righteous person will live by faith. In other words, our everyday actions will be determined by what we believe. On Friday, the conclusion of the week, um, Jesus said something which is just so profoundly, um, profoundly important. Uh, he was saying to people, but you do not believe because you're not of my sheep. As I said to you, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. You know, when we believe in Jesus, um, there is a covenant relationship that is entered into between us and him. And part of that covenant a relationship is that we shall never perish and nobody shall ever snatch us out of his hand. That is just so precious. Our future is in absolute reality in Jesus' hands. 
Sunday the next week, what are we going to see? Well, um, there's, there's a re-emphasis of this whole question of no one being able to snatch believers out of the Father's hand. Now, Jesus had just said, you know, on the, on the, on the Friday, that nobody could snatch them out of his hand. And now he's saying, no, he's able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. So what's he getting at? Well, we'll discover the importance of those two statements and how Jesus marries them up on Monday. Tuesday, there's a big question. Why was Jesus crucified? Now, in saying that, I don't mean sort of theologically why, but what was in the mind of those who, on the ground, at the time, created the circumstances that caused Jesus' crucifixion? On Tuesday of next week, we discover the answer. On Wednesday, uh, another big question. Um, we understand the Good Shepherd carries the sheep. We're, we've got that image in our minds, haven't we, of the Good Shepherd with the you know, the, the lost sheep on his shoulders being taken back into the safety of the sheepfold. But the question on Wednesday is who carries the Good Shepherd? And we discover the answer. On Thursday, well, Thursday, um, we consider again this question of the Good Shepherd um, what separates a good shepherd from a bad one, or one who just regards himself as a hard man, will be attitude. But we discover on Thursday exactly what that attitude is. Finally, on the Friday, um, people said John performed no sign. But all the things that John spoke about this man were true. That's John the Baptist is talking about. And God wants us to join with John the Baptist in something. What that something is, we discover on Friday of next week. Well, as ever, I, I hope you have a really good weekend. And um, instead of looking forward to being with you next week, I look forward to being with you the week after. Uh, until then, be blessed and remember that Jesus loves and cares for you and that he is Lord.